Hi there, this is Mina once again and as promised, I'm back with another video on some of the top applications that you should install on every new smartphone. Now don't get me wrong here, these are not the must-have apps or the productivity apps like we usually cover, but consider it more like recycle bin apps, that is, you have to install it first before the disaster happens. Chances are you will never going to use this application, but when you do, it's going to be a big lifesaver. So yeah, like always, all the download links will be in the description below and turn on the subtitles if you want to. So with that being said, let's get started. Unlike Windows and Mac, Android doesn't come with a recycle bin, so if you accidentally delete something, well too bad. However, if you have dumpster installed on your phone from day one and then if you delete something like a picture, audio video file or a document etc, well then you can easily recover it from the app. Dumpster can also upload your deleted files to the cloud for a small monthly subscription fees. Though do keep in mind, most of the stuff that people delete from their phone, well they are sensitive in nature and it's not a very good idea to have them on a cloud. Remember, most startups invest more on features rather than security. But for local storage, Dumpster makes sense. Now you might remember, in my last episode of Little Known Gems, I told you guys about the Call Track app, which basically back up all your call logs to Google Calendar. But guess what, there is even a better app than this. So SMS Backup Plus takes the automatic backup of all your SMS as well as call logs and then upload them as a separate label on Gmail. The entire process is automated and like all the applications that you are going to see in this list, this one also requires one time setup. So all you have to do is set it up once and then forget it entirely. It will automatically work in the background. But what I really like about this application is, since it is using a separate label, the backup will never interfere with your regular emails. Now most of you might already know about Google Photos. It is an app that automatically backups all your photos and videos and upload them on Google server, which you can access either by downloading the Google Photos app or by going to the URL photos.google.com. Overall, it is an awesome service available for free. But the reason I am including this here is because one, most Chinese phones these days don't have Google Photos app pre-installed, so you will have to download it from the Play Store. And second, you need to open this application at least once and then give it a permission or else it won't work. And here's the interesting part. Last year, a guy called David Arnold found out that even if you delete the Google Photos app and remove it from your smartphone, the photos will still be uploaded to the Google server, which is kind of a grey area depending on the circumstances. But it definitely goes against the normal logic. So yeah, do keep this in mind next time you use Google products. Now, call recording is another thing that you wish you had after a bad experience from a customer service or client. So it is always a good idea to have it first, right? Now I have done a detailed video on this topic, so I won't go in depth here. But personally I use automatic call recorder and it's working great for me. The app records all your phone call right after you install it. There is no need to configure any settings. Though one feature that makes a lot of sense to me is you can record a phone call from specific contact and also have it uploaded automatically to the cloud. It's a paid feature, but totally worth it. Now honestly, titanium backup is not as relevant today as it was few years back, since Google has already started taking backups of apps and some of the app data. But yeah, if you want complete backup, like restoring everything down to the smallest settings of every single app, then titanium backup is still the king. It requires root access though, which I currently don't have. But anyways, my point is, with Google backups, you will be able to restore all your last install application and only few app data, which support signing from the Google account. But with Titanium Backup, you can restore all the app data, even the logins and settings can be restored. Now an anti-theft app is always going to be on top of my list. The moment you buy a new smartphone, you should install one. Yes, there is a built-in option in Android Device Manager, but I particularly like Cerebrus since it has almost every feature that you will need once you lose your smartphone. So for instance, God pop it but it happens, you can simply log into your Cerebrus account from your computer and track the device location, take pictures from the front camera and most importantly, it has the ability to withstand a factory reset. Now I know some of you may be wondering, well Mirinal, if this application is so good, then why didn't you get your Nexus 6 back? And well, I want to set the expectation straight. You can only expect to get your device back when it is lost or if you have left it somewhere. If someone wants to steal your phone, then there is no application that will help you to get it back. And I secretly wish phone manufacturer should install a remote kill switch option. 
which when pressed will break the phone forever and the only way to get it fixed would be by visiting the official service center but anyways back from my fantasy land yeah you should have an anti theft app even if you don't want to pay for service get a free one from play store i will leave the link to that in the description below so yeah that's pretty much it if i miss something then let me know in the comment section below let's see if we can make this list solid also i am kind of enjoying this frequent upload schedule and i hope you do that too but whenever you upload daily ideas are hard to come by so if you have any video suggestions or any suggestion let me know in the comment section below so yeah that's pretty much it give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i will see you tomorrow and yes like always thank you for watching